to very closely and following the day by day, almost minute by minute progression of Fukushima in those early days, what was remarkable is that for about three days, there were a lot of reports in the U.S. media talking about the plume of radiation from Fukushima coming towards the United States, the West Coast, and that it was going to hit in approximately eight days. For about three days, we heard that story, and then it vanished. It was nowhere. The word plume was not used, and there was no discussion of radiation hitting the West Coast, even though we know from our own readings at the time that it did hit, and it was specifically very intense in the Seattle area where people were getting hot particles that were coming across from Fukushima. But it did not appear in the media after the third day. So it was suspected that something came down. We just haven't been able to nail with multiple sources so that it can be reported in a larger way what it was that actually happened. Um, well, I certainly found articles that reported that radiation from Fukushima was found in Vermont articles that tracked that across the country. So I have a different experience. I, I'm not seeing that there's a blackout of news, but rather it's minimized. It's like no consequence. In a capitalist society where you don't have a police force, we're not controlled by military force, we're controlled by a certain kind of knowledge production. Uh, it began with the PR industry after World War I. It is through a construction of public knowledge that we have public order of a particular kind. And that's why I'm very interested in issues of knowledge production and power. In the articles that I've looked at, they're talking about, you know, these things happening, but they say it doesn't really matter. And one of the ways they say it doesn't matter is that, well, there's no real science. There's no hard science out there that will show us that this is going to have a negative effect. Well, science is always open.